Hello everyone and welcome to episode 4 of my fact chain series. Today is all about my collection. Um, this album was really good. I loved it. I love the fact that um, it was really vocal heavy. So when it comes to Park June, I have observed that he has the tendency of switching vibes between albums because it can rap as well sometimes the albums are going to be more vocal centric like it's more ballads more softer songs the vocals are definitely in the forefront then in another album it's going to be more trappy and it's going to emphasize more of his rapping and i love that he does things this way because it keeps things fresh and what I also love is that it's not because this is a vocal centric era that you won't get a little bit of rapping and it's not because this is the trap that you won't get them vocals and I, I feel like that's what makes it so interesting because he's able to showcase his versatility in every project but he does it in a way that it feels new it feels fresh and every time I'm, I'm like, oh yeah, actually, he can rap, or oh yeah, I forgot just how great of a singer he was, and that's just because of how he approaches the music, how he delivers on those songs, and his confidence, and just how great I, I think he is at picking the sounds, the melody, and so far is one of those that I really I feel like have mastered the art of the perfect track list because track listing is very important the way you structure those songs can make or break a vibe of the album three songs that sound too much alike you know you start to feel like things are uh, dragging or like too many switch ups and then you start to feel like things are all over the place so having the perfect track list is also important and I love the fact that with every album of his I felt like he was telling a story and you start somewhere you end somewhere else but still it feels like you went on this roller coaster ride and somehow every single song connect to each other while being unique in itself does that make sense? Hopefully so. But um, so I really loved it. The vocals are amazing. Now, when it comes to my personal favorites, I have two of them in this album. Number two is Lost. <laughs> Nothing. I'm out to find 
는 go. 아무런 감정도 이 기분 못 대신해 주는 걸 사실 너도 알아. We on a road. 아무것도 확실하진 않지만 우린 달리지 빠른 속도로. 에이, 말 없이 창문을 열어. 에이, 아직도 끝은 안 보이지만 우리 필요하지. 쉬는 시간이 눈 깜짝할 사이 지나가 너 빨리. 그러니 숨기지를 말고 내게 알려줘. 뭐 잊혀진 네 시간. Now let me take it back. back. So let's get close. That's my second favorite. I love it. My favorite part is definitely that chorus. This is giving me like songs that you hear in like a live bar situation, and you know, and you have like the band playing and somebody just singing. Like this is the vibe that I get. Like just there at the bar having a drink and then great music. Now the star of the album is Gallery. <laughs> this song the chorus is so catchy um i love his voice on here i love the production the melody oh my god like the song is perfect let me know in the comments how you felt about the album which song ended up your favorite and if you want more check out his dedicated playlist on the channel <laughs> 